Brian Mueller saying hello from the Natomas area Monday afternoon where Leroy Green is hosting Galt and the Lions Diamond played host to a home run derby. A man on for Mason Tassano. He hits this out to left and gone. The two-run shot puts the Warriors up in the first. Then the very next batter, Aiden Hall. This ball makes like a tree and leaves the park into a tree. The future Long Beach State dirtbag makes it 3 to nothing. But the Lions return fire in the bottom half of the inning. Eddie Ames smokes this one through the left side. Part of a four-hit game for him. That scores Lamont Buford Jr. and it's 3-1. to one. Bottom two now. LGA has him loaded up for a big Drew Perry and he says all your base are belong to us. A grand slam for the junior and just like that it's 5-3 Lions. Top three. Hall again at the plate with a runner on. You can see what Long Beach State likes about this guy. He hits this deep to left center and gone his second of the game and we're tied at five. Still tied bottom four. Perry up with a runner on and he keeps producing, laces a single to left, drives in his fifth run of the day to make it 6-5. to five. Then later in the inning, Corey Ramsom guides this to right for a single, aim scores, and it's 7-5 Leroy Green. Still in the fourth, Andrew Morales is up with two on, finds some space in center, that ball is down, two more Lions come in to score, it's a four-run inning, and the Lions have a 9-5 to five lead. It's 9-6 now in the fifth, then oh boy, they're loaded for Perry again, can he do it again? You bet! This guy's a Ken Griffey Jr. Slugfest cheat code. His second grand slam of the game. Four hits, nine RBI. It powers the Lions to a run rule win. 16-6 the final. I feel like I've been locked in at the plate like that before, but I'm not sure about two grand slams locked in. I mean, I was seeing the ball really well today, and I guess everyone on the team was. <laughs>